As more Americans are buying smart TVs, concern is growing about privacy. The research firm IHS Markets says 69% of all television sets shipped in North America last year were able to connect to the Internet, and that percentage is only expected to rise in 2018. But Consumer Reports has found millions of smart TVs can be exploited by hackers. The vulnerabilities affect some Samsung devices and other brands that use Roku's smart TV platform. Forms. Here to talk more about those findings is Glenn Doreen, Director of Content Development at Consumer Reports. All right, so Glenn, based on your findings, what could these hackers do? So what we discovered, and I, I'll, I'll start by saying the good news is that we didn't find any evidence that people could, uh, over the internet, go and um, monitor what you're doing or steal any information. It's not to say that that's not possible, it's just not, it wasn't one of the easy hacks that we discovered. We found though that a relatively unsophisticated hacker could take control of the set and it's almost like having kind of a remote, remote control. Um, and that means that somebody could raise the volume, change the channel, play content from the internet that, you know, that could be disturbing. They could knock the set off the Wi-Fi network. Um, and, uh, and for someone who wasn't, who had no idea what was going on, it could be particularly frightening. All right, so let me ask you though, what kind of data can these smart TVs collect? So, the, the hacking concern, the security concern, was uh, was one thing that we found, but there was also the pro what we consider a, a, pri a bunch of privacy concerns. All of the sets that we looked at from all of the major manufacturers use a technology called automatic content recognition. And what that is, is it's literally a technology that is watching what you watch on the screen, regardless of what you're playing. So everything from Netflix uh, movies and series to content that's playing off of your cable box or satellite or streaming over an antenna, uh, or your own DVD collection, the television manufacturer is collecting data about everything you watch and using it for marketing purposes and to serve ads and uh, trading with third parties. Well, what larger privacy concerns do your findings raise for consumers? So. Uh, one of the things that, that we think is that consumers should have control over what type of data that they're, that they, uh, that the TV manufacturers are taking off the set. There might be some benefits to it. For instance, the manufacturers say that uh, they, they use this data to suggest movies, but, uh, but we, don't think that it's, we don't think that it's very explicit to consumers what they're actually agreeing to when they set up these sets. The good news is that you can actually turn this stuff off if you pay very close attention, but most people just kind of click on through when they're setting up their set, and it's understandable. You just got a new TV, you want to you know, you get to watching the TV, and you might just click okay on all these screens, but when you do that, you're agreeing to a whole lot of uh, data collection. Well, what has been the response from Samsung and Roku? So uh, Samsung has said that they appreciate what we've told them about the security concern on their set. They're looking into it, and they do plan to make some changes on some of the security uh, concerns that we had for their 2018 sets. Roku has, uh, has basically disagrees with us and says that they don't consider that it is a security concern because the, uh, the accounts of, of Roku users are not being compromised. Uh, and that's true. We didn't see any evidence that people could steal information information from Roku accounts, but we do think that that you shouldn't be able to take over the control of a set uh, over the internet the way that we were able to. We think that that's just a basic bad security practice. Well, and what can people do then to protect themselves from being vulnerable? So what's interesting is that a lot of the stuff, if you dig around in the menu settings, and we provide some instructions for how to do that uh, on our site, consumerreports.org, uh, but a lot, of the, uh, a lot of these things you can actually go and turn off. Even the, remote, the uh, Roku remote control, there are settings that you can dig into deep in the settings of Roku players and the Roku TVs where you can turn off uh, remote control for the set, but that also means that you're giving up some functionality. Uh, like, for instance, you can't use the Roku app uh, um, on your smartphone to control the set if you turn that off. And likewise, you can turn off the, uh, some, of the, some of the monitoring from both the television manufacturers and their partners, but sometimes you lose some of the smart TV functionality as well. All right, Glenn Doreen with Consumer Reports. Some good information. Thanks so much, Glenn.